Hello, this is Brian again. Well, I am on my way down the Stairmaster portion. Which is probably the sketchiest part of the way down, or the way you hike this. Wow, you're going to get some really good views. I'm not sure the name of this canyon. I don't know if this is part of Oak Canyon or not. Oh, no, Soycott Valley. Never mind. It's Soycott Valley over here. Beautiful Soycott Valley. <clears throat> so now, I think the hardest part of the hike is over, which is climbing up this. This is the hardest part. Once you get to the ridge, you get some decent inclines when you're going up to South Fortuna, but it's a lot more chill once you get to the ridge line. Especially when you got a lot of gentle, gentle ridge lines here. more gentle ridge lines when you're here. Like Fortuna, especially up here to South Fortuna. I gotta start bringing my trekking poles, yo. <laughs> that was the third time I ate dirt today. So I was thinking, so I was saying, this one here, South Fortuna, once you get in the ridge, Fortuna, was the Fortuna area, Kauai Pai, hiking is usually a lot more gentle. I said, this is probably the downhill portion. It's probably going to be our sketchiest part. So, and the crazy thing is, my shoes have these hiking shoes have served me well. I've had these hiking shoes for a good few years now. Maybe, I think the trunnel, maybe the tread's starting to wear out on them. Maybe it'd be time for me to invest in some others. But, Up until today, I've, it's just, there's a lot of exposed rock, so it can get pretty slippery, so just watch where you're going. And on the way down, I'm going to stick to the stairs as much as possible, because downhills we usually have the most issue. Climbing up this, you know, it's pretty... It can be a little slippery too, but it's usually downhill where it's usually the most rigorous. So. This is, the soil in this area is surprisingly slippery. So you will get, you will even get a bit of a workout on the way down too. There are a couple, a couple of portions of this that were borderline class two. One spot, just in one spot though. For the most part, it's just a steep stairmaster. And if you like views, you'll certainly get them here.
Yeah, see, sometimes it's easy to lose the trail, but this is the area where it's a little more of a, a little slight scramble action over here. I mean, it's nothing extremely tactical, so it's nothing to worry about unless you really are not sure-footed and not confident in your abilities, but... Yeah, right here. This is where it was a little bit of a... little slight bit of a rock scramble. Right here is a small Class 2 section. Like I said, it's very small. The rest of this is just your basic steep ridge gaining trail. One thing though, boulders make it very scenic up here. Just looking at all the rocks. Yeah, this is the portion didn't film going up. So I may as well get it on the way down. So you kind of see some of this. Me today. Falling on my butt. Nothing bad, but kind of annoying actually. It is kind of annoying. I'm gonna have to do a deep wash of these pants when I get home. They are dusty. Sometimes it's this. The rock here with a little bit of dust on it is the Sometimes the culprit of very slippery walking. Cause it, it's like, just gotta take just gotta take a little extra precaution when you're going around that. See right here would have been a decent little class two rock right there. But you can go around up there if you don't want to do it. I didn't, so I went around it. But yeah, the sun's definitely fully out now. That's why I want to get over, get over the uh, uphill hurdles on the way back relatively early before it becomes really really heated <laughs> well, that's Mission Gorge right there when you first come in if you first come in to the visitor center parking lot the one peak on your left, the one that has a real pointy, looks like it has a little pointy top on it, that's this one. It's, it's part of South Fortuna. As you're coming in, yeah, you'll see a rounded one to your right, which is Kwai Pai, which was my last week's, one of my last week's adventures. I went to three different places last week. <laughs> This week, the you know, when you go to the visitor visitor center area, which is actually the visitor center itself is right over there, but I'm parked a little closer a little closer along the uh, Junipero Serra junction of. Uh, Junipero Serra. Uh, I think that's part of Junipero Serra, I think. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Because it curves its way around Mission Trails. And you can pick up Kwai Pai from the, from the other side. You're going up the roughly the north facing side of Kwai Pai Peak. 
which is what I did last week. Like I said, you're driving in towards the visitor center, or you're walking in, or whatever. The rounded one on your right is Kwai Pai. The one that has a really prominent look to it is a lot more front prominent from that side, the San Diego River slash Mission Gorge side. That's, that's South Fortuna. Or part of part of it. Because the, the top of it's not pointy. It's very gentle, but this part of the ridge gets pretty pointed over there. So yeah, I'm just about to finish the Stairmaster. Kind of glad. So, again, the trail's going to follow this ridge here. Again, like I said, it's so ups and downs, it's kind of a roller coaster hike. Thankfully, most of the gain is done already. <laughs> but I will have actually, I think, two hills to climb. So, what I did is I took the south and western portion of the visitor center loop trail and that started by going downhill into the canyon and then I rose up and over over there somewhere and that was a that was a decent climb right there too I'm going to try to see if I'm, if I'm going to close out the northern and eastern portion of the visitor center loop to actually complete that loop trail. In addition to the South Fortuna mountain hike. Yeah, granted, these are not your six, seven thousand, eight thousand foot peaks that you get in the San Gabriel or San Bernardino Mountains or higher, of course. But you do get some pretty you do get some pretty cool views. And you can get a pretty good workout because a lot of these trails have a lot of ups and downs. So it's not, you're not gonna be lacking in workout value. Aesthetic value obviously to me is thinking this is beautiful, of course. You throw sage grub, chaparral, woodland into the mix, obviously it's already beautiful in my book. But just love hilly canyons and hills, mountain peaks, like all that stuff. So, yep. should be able to get the uphill parts and bleed before it gets too hot. That's why I started early. That's why my first clip was kind of dark. Especially knowing there wasn't going to be a marine layer today. Wanted to start earlier.
one more view into this canyon. right there is what makes it look pointy from the visitor center. Yeah, see that rock outcropping right there? I think that is where the the illusion of a pointy peak appears. So it looks like a prominent pointy peak. Now the back side of the back side of uh, South Fortuna heading towards North Fortuna has only about 180 feet of prominence on the backside. Fortuna Saddle is about 910 feet. The front side of South Fortuna, the south side, pretty impressive looking. And again, heading up towards North Fortuna over there. Once you get a Fortuna saddle, it's probably about a 400, maybe 450 foot climb to get to North Fortuna because I know the difference between the 910 foot saddle and 1,291 foot North Fortuna is obviously it's about 381 feet. However, once you get to the ridge line, other a few bumps along the way on uh, the way to the summit. So I think the total elevation gain would probably be probably closer to 450 feet, give or take a little bit. So here we are, about ready to drop in drop into Soycott Valley again. And then I'm going to have to climb up the hill pretty soon we'll be going up the hill again. And that'll be my first uphill on the way out. So I'll see you on the next clip. There'll be at least one, maybe two more, I don't know, we'll see. Because uh, the if I follow through and take the, the close out the loop, if I take the north and east side of the loop, the uh, visitor center loop, then there'll be some more some more scenery that wasn't available during this portion. So more than likely I'm going to go for it just because it's there and it's an option to vary the scenery. So I will see you on the next clip.